Hello everyone, I'm Todd Racine, principal at Sebastian River Middle School, and I'd like to welcome you back to the 2020 school year. I hope you know how excited we all are to see you. It's been way too many days, and we are excited to have your return on August 24th. As you arrive to school, you'll notice some changes and some differences. First of all, with our arrival and dismissal. Students will be going to first period classes when they arrive and having, getting a grab and go breakfast from the cafeteria. At dismissal time, we'll stay in the classrooms until all buses are called for and what we call for car riders and walkers to be exited from the building. This is that, so that we can maintain social distancing in our arrival and our dismissal. In your classrooms, your teachers have been working diligently for the last four days, setting up their classrooms to give as much space as possible, setting up sanitizing stations, creating ways to safely utilize materials, and to make your return to school one that is comfortable and relaxing for you. As you'll notice, the mask and hand sanitizing is going to be very important this year, so I hope you've all been practicing wearing your masks, as well as practicing good hand washing techniques. We will be teaching those to you and how they are appropriate in school, as well as each one of your classes. Some classes will be required to wear a mask, as social distancing, which is six feet or greater distance, will be in place in all classrooms. And if social distancing cannot be obtained, then students will be required to wear a mask. At lunches, we have some great options for you. You'll be allowed to eat in the cafeteria or the multi-purpose room. We also have teachers that have invited you to come have lunch with them in their classrooms, but only for about 10 or 12 students. And we're looking to options of using our outdoor courtyard when weather permits. All of these different um, avenues for lunch will be explained to you on August 24th and the week that we return. Speaking about returning, we also have transitions from class to class. This is going to be in a very orderly manner, and classrooms will be dismissed by the teachers so that we can all practice social distancing and stay six, to six feet away from one another. That's basically two arms length away from each other. In order to do that, we will offer you a little bit of extra time transitioning from one class to the other. So we don't want you to worry about being late, but we want to remind you that you won't be able to stop and socialize in the hallways. We were going to ask you that you keep uh, walking continuously from one class to the next so that we can get everybody to different classes. We are also allowing four students at a time in the restroom, but we have made other provisions for you to use the restrooms throughout the day when you're in your classes. For parents of students in options two and three, we are glad you are with us. Option two and three students are a vital part of our uh, cowboy family. And I want you to know that every opportunity is still available for your students to participate in extracurricular activities and clubs, as well as you have the same resources to your guidance counselors, teachers, and administrators. Students who are in option two, I want to remind you that as you're doing virtual instruction, you are responsible to keep pace throughout each week so that you can complete your coursework by the end of the semester. Although you have a little bit of flexibility as the time of the day that you work on your assignments, you also have the responsibility to make sure you get them done on time and so that you can have the credit for yourselves at the end of the marking period. We also want you to know your guidance counselors, your administrators, your teachers are only a phone call or an email away, and you can reach out to any of us. All of our telephone numbers and our email uh, addresses are on the school website, so you should be able to easily find those. For option three students, we want to make sure that you are scheduled and you regulate yourself to sign in every day as you'll be attending all of your classes on a daily basis. We do have a block schedule, so we have half of our classes on one day and the other half on another. And your teachers will review that schedule with you and when you are to attend. We will also provide a daily calendar of our orange day and blue day. That information will be shared with you during orientations. And did I tell you teacher, students and parents, orientations are coming up this week. We have orientation on Thursday, October 3rd, or August 13th for our sixth grade students, and that is for brick and mortar, and then on Friday, for seventh and eighth grade students who are doing the brick and mortar option one versions. Students who are in option two and three, your orientations are August 18th and 19th from 1.30 to 3.30, and there's information on our school website, our Facebook, and our Twitter accounts for you all to uh, see the details of those dates and times. 
Students, if you are in option two or option three, I wanna remind you that laptop distributions are Thursday, August 13th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. and 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. at Sebastian River Middle School. Again, everybody, we are excited for this return. Our staff has been working diligently to make sure that everything is safe and appropriate and healthy, and most of all, engaging and inspiring for each of you each and every day. We're ready to have you come back and we will see you all very soon. Thank you.